Hello friends, today in this video I am going to discuss about the difference between southern blot, northern blot and western blot. Okay, and at first southern blot is developed by EM southern and that's why it is called southern blot. Okay, and then the northern blot and western blot is developed but they have no scientific significance of their name. They are named as northern blot and western blot to show the similarity with the southern blot okay and these three blotting techniques are principally similar but they detect or identify different biomolecules okay so now look at this all characteristics and based on these characteristics i will differentiate this three blotting technique okay so at first molecule to be detected okay now in southern blot we detect specific DNA molecule from a cell or tissue. Okay, so at first in southern blot we detect DNA, specific DNA molecule, and in northern blot we detect or identify specific RNA molecule. Okay, so here is RNA in northern blot, and in western blot we identify or detect a specific protein in a cell or tissue. So here is the protein okay now the next point is the extraction how we extract this biomolecules okay so in southern blot at first we extract or purify dna from the cell by alcohol precipitation technique that is alcohol precipitation Okay, now the next the northern blot in northern blot we identify we extract RNA by cellulose chromatography. This cellulose chromatography. Okay, and in western blot we extract and purify protein by differential centrifugation by differential centrifugation okay now the next characteristic is the separation which is done by gel electrophoresis okay and in southern blot dna fragments are separated according to their size by agarose gel electrophoresis this agarose gel electrophoresis okay, that is the agarose gel electrophoresis okay and in northern blot we separate RNA molecules also by agarose gel electrophoresis. So it is the same as southern blot and in western blot we separate protein molecules according to their size by SDS page. This SDS page. Full form is SDS is a detergent detergent that is a sodium dodecyl sulfate and the page means polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis okay so the next characteristic is the denaturation in southern blood dna so dna is present in double stranded structure so to denature dna so that they come into their single stranded form so this is done by the alkali treatment alkali treatment that is like any which treatment okay so now the dna fragments are single stranded and now they can bind or hybridized with the single stranded probe okay so in northern blot as the rna is also single stranded so they do not require denaturation okay so here is not required Okay, 
and in western blot the SDS in polyactylamide gel electrophoresis disrupt the secondary and tertiary structure of the protein so further the denaturation is not required so here also not required okay now the next point is the blotting method now what is blotting blotting means the transfer of biomolecules like dna rna or protein from the electrophoretic gel to the membrane okay and in southern blot the blotting is done by capillary action this is the capillary blotting capillary blotting okay and in northern blot we also use the capillary blotting so it is same as the southern blot and in western blot we use electro blotting electro blotting electro blotting means a electric current is applied to transfer the protein molecules from the polyacrylamide gel to the membrane okay so now next is membrane used the membrane used for blotting in southern blot we basically use nitrocellulose membrane or nylon membrane okay so here is the nitrocellulose membrane or nylon membrane and in northern blot we basically use nylon membrane or sorry or dbm paper dbm means diazo benzoyl oxymethyl okay and remember that in northern blotting we do not use nitrocellulose membrane because the dna has a affinity for only uh, nitrocellulose membrane but rna do not have an affinity to bind with the nitrocellulose membrane and that's why we do not use nitrocellulose membrane in northern blot okay and in western blot we use nitrocellulose membrane or pvdf membrane pvdf means polyvinylidene difluoride okay so the, now the next point is the blocking blocking means to prevent blocking is done to prevent the non specific binding of the probe to the membrane so the blocking means we block the remaining remaining portion or space of the membrane so that the non specific binding cannot done okay and as a blocking agent in southern blot we use a mixture of pre treatment we use a pre treatment pre treatment and this pre treatment contain the three components that is the fecal polyvinyl pyrrolidine and bsa that is the bovine serum albumin okay and in northern blot we do not require blocking step okay so here is not required okay and in western blot as a blocking as a as a blocking agent we use bsa that is bovine serum albumin or milk powder okay bsa or milk powder okay now the next point is the probe used in southern blot we basically use radio labeled single stranded dna as a probe so radio level single stranded dna as a probe okay and in northern blot we also used radio level single stranded dna as a probe and sometimes we use rna molecule as a probe radio labeled rna molecule as a probe okay and in western blot so it is basically same as southern blot and in western blot we basically use primary and secondary antibody primary 
एंड सेकेंडरी एंटीबॉडी सॉरी सेकेंडरी प्राइमरी एंड सेकेंडरी एंटीबॉडी एंड हियर द प्राइमरी एंटीबॉडी specifically bind with the target protein and then secondary antibody is added and secondary antibody specifically bind with the primary antibody and this secondary antibody is tagged with a enzyme molecule and then when we add a substrate molecule of this enzyme then this enzyme convert this substrate molecule to a colored product and we get a chromogenic or colorimetric detection okay so now the next point is the hybridization here in southern blot we get we get the dna dna hybridization we occur the dna dna hybridization is dna dna hybridization is occurred in southern blot and in northern blot the dna rna dna rna hybridization is done and in western blot the antigen antibody complex is formed okay the target protein is the antigen and as a probe we use antibody okay and the next point is the detection when we use radio level single stranded dna as a probe then we get detection by auto radiography auto radiography and when we use non radio level single stranded dna as a probe sorry non radio level probe then we get detection by chromogenic or fluorescence detection or by chemiluminescence detection okay and in northern blot it is also same as southern blot we get the auto radiography so it is the same as southern blot and in western blot we basically detect the signal by the production of color compound that is the colorimetric detection and it is also can be detected by chemiluminescence or fluorescence detection okay so, okay so basically it is colorimetric detection colorimetric colorimetric detection that is the colored product we get the signal from the colored product now the next point is the application what is the application of this blotting techniques okay now at first southern blot is used for dna fingerprinting okay this dna finger printing okay and northern blot is used for disease diagnosis disease diagnosis that means in disease condition we measure the amount of mrna produced in different tissue or cells and diagnose the disease okay and in western blot and western blot is used to used for uh, detection of hiv infection and hepatitis b this hiv infection and hepatitis b okay so these all are the differences between southern blot northern blot and western blot okay thank you for watching this video